close your eyes and I ask you to envision a light show, what would you see? So I might say a rave or the Disneyland fireworks, but what do both of those have in common? They're both man-made, right? So what if I told you that there's a natural occurring light show that happens in the night sky? That would be called the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. So the Northern Lights is a colorful display of glowing colors, including green, blue, red, and pink. Um, so Aurora Borealis is history, it's art, science, and much more. So I feel like everybody could be influenced in the Aurora Borealis because it has different aspects to it that every, that a lot of people could be interested in too. Um, and how memorizing it is and how you can't just walk into your backyard and see it or um, you'd have to travel to go see it. So the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, is a event that happens in the sky on the Northern Hemisphere. Um, and it also dates back to tens of thousands of years ago. So the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights, has lots of, lots of, lots of history. Um, according to the article Northern Lights, what causes Aurora Borealis and where to see it, published on space.com, written by space.com staff in 2017, says cave paintings in France thought to date back 30,000 years ago have illustrated the natural phenomenon. So meaning that the cave women or men 30,000 years ago have documented the the northern lights that they saw in the sky. So they created that into art. And now today, in today's day and age, we create that into art through cameras and videos, which is cool to think about, like a little comparison. Um, so another history part about the northern lights is um, conspiracy theories that come with it. A lot of people have made theories about it and have, um, put into their thought of why it happens. So space.com staff also states in more superstitious times, the Northern Lights were thought to be harbinger of war destruction, but people really understood, but b before people really understood what happened to them. So they're saying that they thought it was a negative annotation, that it was because of war and destruction. And that was before obviously science came to play and showed them like why it actually happens. Um, so in another article that I found on EarthSky.com um, called What Causes Aurora Borealis, published in 2017, written by Eleanor Imster, who has been a EarthSky um, journalist since 1995, states, In Norse mythology, the Aurora was a fire bridge to the sky built by gods. So there are myths and theories and, you know, before science backed it up, why it happens. And some of the myths were good, like war destruction, and some were bad, like God. I mean, some are good, like, um, it's a goddess in the sky. Um, so location is a big factor to the Northern Lights and being able to see it. It might not just happen in your backyard, like I said. So, but knowing that you can experience it from one location is pretty cool, right? Like, I always thought you could experience it from Alaska. But in the article found at EarthSky.com, the same one, um, the lights typically are seen on the far north, the nations bordering Arctic Ocean, Canada, and Alaska, and Scandinavian countries, also Greenland and Iceland, and Russia. But stronger displays, displays of light can be extended down more southerly latitudes in the United States. And of course, the lights have a counterpart at Earth's solar regions. So, the northern lights can be traveled or visited through Earth, right? Well, they also have been seen on the uh, different planets in the solar system. So if you think about it, what, what, how the Northern Lights come together are particles um, and a bunch of different things have to collide and make the Northern, northern Lights. And I think that that, that event happens here and it happens out there too, which is crazy to think about. Um, so in an article with an unknown author called The Aurora Borealis that I found on Apes Go Hopes, um, published in 20, 2020, states the Aurora collides with periods of the greatest sunspot activity with magnetic storms, disturbances of the Sophia with interfere with long distance radio communications. Um, and it also says studies in intense, intensified means of balloons, radar, rockets, and satellites. Other planets in the solar system also have auroras. So when science came to play, they realized that it doesn't just happen here, it happens out there too. So bringing it to me, the next point is science. So I remember learning about protons and neutrons in high school and I never knew that they could create something so big and so um, like eventful. 
Um, so on October um, 11, 2017, Space.com staff wrote on Space.com website, particles escape from the star from the sunspot regions on the surface. Hurtling particles of plasma known as solar wind into space, it takes these winds around 40 hours to reach Earth. When they do, they can cause a dramatic displays known as aurora borealis. She also um, makes an analogy of the aurora borealis that it looks like these neon signs that you see on businesses, right? So, like, that's a good compar comparison to what the um, aurora borealis look like. So, um, even there is a lot of science to back up what causes northern lights, but if someone has a theory on the lights, why not let it be? Like, um, I think it's such a, like, a beautiful thing, and we should all just be happy that it exists. The light, the natural light show in the sky, we call the northern lights, have been around for many years, and I don't think they're going to be going anywhere. So history, science, and location are all a big factor in the northern lights. And so if you ever get a chance to see the northern lights, just remember the history and the art and the science that have that come to play with the northern lights.